Hey guys, it's Mike from HNS Outdoors. I want to talk to you today about a little bit of uh, saltwater fishing. Now, there's a bunch of different saltwater fishing that you can do. Um, you've got pier, you've got surf, and you've got the intercoastal waterway, and then you've got deep sea. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about pier fishing. And uh, here in the next week or two I'll have a video up about surf fishing and we'll go through all the paces. But, uh, Pier fishing can be a fun thing to do. There's a few things that go involved that are involved with it. But it's all basic stuff. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today. You really need some basic equipment. You're going to need a fishing pole, obviously. If you're on vacation, um, go to the local Walmart. They're going to have a pole there. It's going to run you about 40 bucks. It says surf slash pier on it, and it's perfect for the pier if you're just doing it, you know, couple times out of the year. Uh, you can also buy, you know, the higher end rods and reels that are great long lasting gear. Uh, but if you're only doing it every once in a while, it's probably not worth the investment for you. But once you get your pole, the line on there should be sufficient for what you're going to need. I usually run about a 20 pound test when I'm pier fishing. There's going to be uh, a couple other things you need. First thing that you're going to need is a leader. This is one of my cheaper leaders here. Um, I recommend getting a leader that you don't have to tie the sinker on to. It actually clips on like your hooks do. It'll be a clip like that, just a little bit bigger. These run about $0.75 cent to maybe $1.50. Next thing you're going to need is your sinkers. You can use the bullet type sinkers. Now, the bad thing about these, if the, if, uh, the water is rough, you know, it's going to take your line inland. And then you have the bigger sinkers. This is a five ounce, I usually run a four ounce. The four ounce puts me about where I like to fish. The next thing you're gonna need your hooks. You can use uh, different size hooks, depends on what you're really going for. I used to use hooks like this, the problem I was running into is croaker and crab would come up and just nibble around my hook and their mouth is so small that you can't actually catch them with these. You can, but you're not going to be as successful. So usually what I do is I fish with a smaller hook. Something about like that. And that gets the job done pretty good on croaker, um, shark, you know, flounder, uh, pretty much anything that you're going to bring in. There's also some other stuff um, that you can use while you're out there. This is called a gotcha plug. I'm going to do a video demonstration on how to do, use this here soon. Uh, the pier is an awesome place to go if you're out go to the beach and you're out on vacation it's usually family friendly uh, and then it costs you between 10 and 20 dollars to get on the pier and do a little bit of fishing now one a couple of things that you got to check before you go out you got to check the wind because if it's real windy you can still catch fish but it's going to be you know it might make you feel miserable i fished in some pretty windy situations and you know still successful but it, it takes the wind will take a toll on you pretty quick the next thing you want to check is your tide. And this is real important uh, because if you go in the middle of low tide, your fishing success is going to be down a lot. I like to get out about two to three hours before high tide and fish the tide going in, and then two, roughly two hours going out. Um, those are my most successful times. Um, I catch a lot of croaker, sharks, things like that at night, and then. During the day, you know, I can catch speckled trout, bluefish, you know, possibilities are endless. The best thing about pier fishing is you never know what you're going to catch. You know, if you go bass fishing, chances are, you know, you're going to catch bass. But when you hit that pier, it, all bets are off. It can be anything. Um, you are also going to need some bait. I like to use either shrimp or cut mullet. I have a lot of success with those. A lot of people like squid. I'm not a big, big fan of it. Uh, and there's just stuff called artificial blood worms that most peers sell. They do really good, especially for croaker. And also make sure to take your fillet knife because I recommend if you catch some cro croaker, you clean them up real nice, take them, throw them in the skillet. And I'll do a video on that here soon too. But, uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook if you have any videos you want us to do, any questions. Just uh, send us a message or write on our wall comments in the YouTube page.